Hey guys, I have made a few improvements to my fun wheel. Um, first, I replaced the motor with a higher KV version. There is these float hub motors that uh, were available for a while. I uh, found a broken one that I that somebody generously donated to me, and uh, I replaced the hall sensor on it. And then, because these motors get pretty hot pretty quickly, I added some stator raid to uh, hopefully get it to last longer in the hills. And then I also made the battery a little bigger, meaning I added some voltage. The uh, controller I have can handle up to 20S. I have 16S in here, so I decided to uh, add one or two more cells. I had one spare left over. I started with that and I ordered two more to make it 18S in total. So um, what this looks like is a simple 1S battery here, and that gets added in series to my 16S that I have already, and I'll place that in the front. And then we'll try out how fast we can go with this one wheel without getting the duty cycle up into any dangerous territory. So uh, stay tuned for that. All right, so I have added one more one more battery cell to make it a 17S battery. So now I'm at well, 70 volts before uh, voltage sag. And I wanted to do a quick speed test. So I'm in full Ninja Turtle outfit. And uh, let's see how it does. And my son is chasing me on the XR. So he should have no problem keeping up. And let's go. And here, let me also turn on my watch so I can see my speed without having to look at my phone. All right, this is scary. And uh, yeah, we'll start over after that rattle section. I'm still scared going over those bumps right here. I always think my battery will fall apart. All right. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always think that my uh, nickel strips will just come off. Still don't trust them. Even though I now have the K weld. But alright, let's see. We're doing 12. Let's start increasing the speed a bit. 15. By the way, this is a hill, 10% grade the whole time, pretty much. And I hear quite a bit of wind noise in my ears, so hopefully my microphone can handle this. $40 on Amazon. 17 miles an hour. I wonder if Nick's getting pushback yet. 60% duty cycle up this hill. Yeah, it's... 18 miles. So I am hitting... I am hitting 70% duty cycle on the uphill at 18 miles an hour and that's because my 1P battery has a lot of voltage sag even though they're supposedly the best cells on the market the Moly cell P42A they're uh, in a 1P configuration they still have a hard time with the 20 amps or so what is going on I think my app crashed damn it my app crashed <laughs> okay. I know. All right, now it's flattening out a bit. It's still slightly uphill. Nineteen. Are you riding through pushback? I did. <laughs> Dude, be careful. Don't try to keep up. Don't, I mean, just... 
All right. 20 miles per hour. 22 miles per hour. Duty cycle alert. All right. All right, the MOSFETs only went up to 42, so that's good. All right, so now that we're up at the flat section, let's do a little speed run the other way. So why don't you go ahead a bit? And then I'll come from behind. Go, go. 18 miles per hour. 19. 20 miles per hour. Going fast is scary. I'm just a wuss. Do it again. I think the wind is coming that way, so it's easier to go fast in this direction. Eighteen miles per hour. Twenty one. Mode. How far up did you, is it? But the tilt back on the XR is barely noticeable. I didn't huh? notice it at all. <laughs> yeah. I went 19 miles an hour. Yeah. I think first about like 18. All right. So the conclusion is that I'm too much of a wuss to actually go fast. But the voltage sag is still a big factor. And. Uh, I don't know, what's my top speed? My top speed... Where does it say top speed in this stupid app? Here, 22.3 miles an hour. But the GPS top speed is 21 miles an hour. So... Well, the GPS is not as... doesn't... It only records like once every half second or something. I'm not sure if my speed is 100% calibrated. Is the wheel diameter, if it's maybe slightly less than 27 centimeters. I don't know. 